Hello everyone. Welcome to C Academy YouTube channel. My name is Velilene Nkosi. In today's lesson, we discuss human reproduction. We will be looking at the structure of the female reproductive system and we will also discuss the function of each part in female reproductive system. Without any further ado, let's get to it. So this document that you see on your screen is an examination guidelines. So this guideline is from the Department of Basic Education uh, is for life science. So today we will be talking about human reproduction. And then in human reproduction, uh, we focus on the structure of the female reproductive system. Uh, I've already done a video where we focused on structure of the male reproductive system. So I've put a link then you if you haven't watched it already then you can watch it so in today's lesson we will be focusing on the the structure of the female reproductive system and then using diagram so you must be familiar with the, the structure of the female reproductive system and also the diagram and then another thing that we will be looking at we will be looking at the functions of the ovary and the function of the fallopian tubes uh, and the function of the endometrium endometrium is the lining uh, in the uterus and then the function of the cervix and the function of the vagina with its external opening and the function of the vulva so we must know the function of this part and then uh, another thing we must know the structure of the ovary using a diagram uh, showing the primary follicle the graphian follicle and the corpus luteum so all these three parts uh, uh, they will be included in this video so first let's start with the structure of the female reproductive system and then uh, so this is the structure uh, the structure uh, we have ovaries so ovaries uh in both sides uh, this is the ovaries we've got uh, one ovary and then we've got another ovaries so they are in pairs they are found in each part of in each side of the uterus and then another thing that we have uh, we have fallopian tubes so fallopian tube is this part so this part here it's a it's a fallopian tube so it's a tube uh, this tube is connecting the ovary and the uterus so another fallopian tube is on the other side we've got two fallopian tubes this one is also a fallopian tube and another part uh, it's a uterus so uterus is a hollow pa shaped organ so let me draw the uterus so that you can see what is the uterus this is the uterus This one this part uh, it's a uterus if you look at it closely uh, this part looks like a pier and then another uh, part that we'll be talking about is the endometrium uh, endometrium it's the lining inside the uh, uterus so this lining like here this line and then this line uh, and then another one it can be found at the top so endometrium it's it's not a permanent thing every 28 days a new endometrium is formed and then another part that we'll be looking at is the cervix a cervix is a lower narrow opening of the uterus so this narrow opening here we call it a cervix so if you can see it's very small so uh, and then we've got another part a uh, vagina so vagina is this part here it's like it's sort of a canal this part here we call it a vagina so vagina is a muscular tube which run from the cervix to the exterior so vaginas run from here until the, the exit so this whole thing 
it's a vagina and then another part it's a vulva so vulva is this opening here vulva is the opening to the vagina and it's covered by two vagina cover called uh, labia so you must be able to label this structure uh, now let's go to functions so uh, in this slide so this is the female reproductive system this is the structure so uh, the functions let, let me start with ovaries so the function of the ovaries uh, produces egg cells a uh, function of the ovaries is to produce egg cells egg cells are produced inside the ovaries so the process of ogenesis it begin inside the ovaries so the ogenesis is the, is the process where a female reproductive system uh, produces eggs so this process start in the ovaries and another function of the ovaries it secretes the hormone progesterone and the estrogen so progesterone and estrogen are female hormones though so they play a very important part in a female so uh, this pro these hormones are secreted inside the ovaries so another part that we will be looking at the function it's a fallopian tube so the function of a fallo fallopian tube it transport eggs from the ovary to the uterus so this tube like if the eggs after the eggs has exit the ovaries the eggs will move through the fallopian tube to the uterus so and another function of the fallopian tube is the site of fertilization so fertilization it takes place in the fallopian tube as the egg leave the ovaries and move in the fallopian tube and then it happens that uh, there was an intercourse where sperm was delivered in the vagina so the sperm will enter the cervix and then move through the uterus and then uh, passes through the fallopian tube so if it find an an egg inside the fallopian tube then the sperm will fuse with the the the, the egg cell and then another function we are looking at the uterus so uterus we say it's this shape that looks like a pear and then the function of the uterus it houses and protect embryo and fetus during pregnancy so when a female is pregnant the baby stay inside the uterus so the uterus it's a it's a house housing for the baby so it's the function of the uterus and then another part is the endometrium so the endometrium is a place where a uh, embryo implants and placenta forms so this is the endometrium the endometrium every 28 days a new endometrium is formed so the endometrium it's where the the baby and the mother are connecting so it's where the placenta is formed placenta is the connection between the baby and the mother so diffusion of uh, nutrients water and gaseous exchange takes place in the placenta in the placenta is formed on the uh, endometrium so uh, the function of the endometrium is a place where the embryo implants implants just the it plant itself on the endometrium and then placenta is formed on the endometrium so, and then now let's go to another function uh, we look at the cervix cervix is this part the function of the cervix is stretched to allow the baby through during childbirth so this part this narrow part here uh, if there is a child delivery it will stretch stretch becomes very big and the baby can passes through and then move through the vagina then moves out so the function of this part will stretch and then the baby will move out so uh, another part that we will looking for its function is the 
vagina. So vagina is this part I have showed you. A vagina receives the penis and the semen during intercourse. So during intercourse, the penis will enter the vulva, then deliver the semen on the vagina. So the function of the vagina is to receive the semen. Semen, uh, it's, a, it's a liquid that contains sperm cells. And then another thing, another function of the vagina, it's a birth canal. So uh, as the woman is giving birth, the baby will pass through the vagina. So that is why they say a uh, vagina, it's a birth canal. And then menstrual blood passage. So if there was no fertilization and then this endometrium it's crushed so the blood that is the blood of the endometrium will pass through the vagina so it's another function of the vagina and then another thing we are looking for is vulva so the function of the vulva it protect the opening to the vagina so this vulva will protect the opening so it makes sure the opening is safe so these are the functions that uh, you must be aware of make sure you understand them and then uh, the next step we will be looking at the structure of an ovary so this is this the section view of an ovary so on the female reproductive system this is the part that we, we will be looking for this is the ovaries so let's cut it and then see what is inside so they want us to know what is the primary follicle uh, we have primary follicle this small part these ones are primary follicle and then this primary follicle they will, when they grow they become secondary follicles and then tertiary follicles after that this is a tertiary follicle this part here we call it a tertiary follicles and then this one it keeps on growing as it grow further this one it's a graphene follicle this one so after it becomes a graphene follicle that is where it's ready for ovulation so ovulation is when uh, this uh, outside leave the follicle so or the follicle cells so you must be able to label this structure so you know you know that these are the primary follicles we have many primary follicles and then these are secondary follicles and then these are tertiary follicles and then until we get graphene follicles and then after it become a graphene follicles then ovulation takes place ovulation is when this oocyte leave the leave the the, the 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 follicles and then these follicles will not exit the ovary only this egg only this egg will will exit the ovary then move to the fallopian tube so but this a uh, graphene follicle will keep on uh, moving inside the ovary but after the after the ovulation has taken place we are no longer calling it graphene follicle we call it corpus luteum so it's important to know the difference we have primary follicle we have a graphene follicle after ovulation we have corpus luteum so you must know the different you must be able to label this uh, structure so and here we have blood vessel that is where the blood are exchanging if you watch this video to this far thank you very much please consider subscribing so that our channel can grow then we will make a uh, research so that we can give you a good content and if you are studying i say Good luck with your studies. Thank you very much.